Hmm. So now we'll go to the Citadel and visit Bane and Caden and Miranda. Talk to everybody. All right. Leave orbit. I get out of here. Let's hop on back. Just gonna hop through the system that has the diplomats and oh no. Later, later. I know the first time I played Mass Effect 3, I was uber stressed about everything just because it feels like you have no time, you know? Like, of all the games, this is the one where I felt like you just had no time. And that it was necessary to, like, but I, and I had to, like, act, I had to, like, mentally be like, just slow down, like, you know, like, it's not, it's most likely not gonna change how the game ends by, you know, it's, what's gonna change is, is, um, You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. What's gonna change is what resources you get. That's gonna affect the ending, not how fast you got to the ending, you know? This is good, though. This time around, I'm getting the full conversation with Caden, and it's making a lot more sense, too. Just wish things with Thane would... Like, you could change... Like, conversation would update at least a little bit. But. He's so beautiful! Come by again, Shepard. I'm flattered. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I don't uh... do, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side, and I am not at mine. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. I just want to hear his voice and see him talk. Blood. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I wish the best for you, Thane. I think of us often, Siha. But we always knew it would come to an end. Live well in the time you have. Perhaps we will see each other again. It just... Wow, it, just it, it kills me that I can't... That the conversations don't update at all. That, like, you can't... I don't know. That you can't interact with them in a satisfactory manner. That, you, that he can't come with you. I understand. But at the same time, just leaving him here in this chair... I don't know. It doesn't seem right in, in any way. For him or for Shepard. And it just makes my heart ache every time I see him. But... I don't know. It would suck more like in, in like if it was like, you know, an actual situation. Like, you don't just ignore your lover, you know? You go and visit them whenever you can. Despite whatever hardship they or you are going through. Maybe you can't visit frequently, but you at least try, you know? And, like, why are Like, I feel like they might have more personal communication, like, emails and stuff. Like, why can't they email each other a little bit, you know? Like... Like, her updating him on what's going on and him giving, like, words of advice or comfort or just, just chatting. Like, I don't know. That, that's my ideal, but it was not, it was not in the cards. Thane Romance got shafted. <laughs> Didn't it, doggy? Well, even if I can't have Thane, I have Mexican food, so that's nice. I'm gonna try and eat this while talking to Caden. We'll see if that works, but I'm starving to death. I don't think we can talk to... Oh, we can. Hello again, Commander. Here to see our patient? How is Caden doing? Very well. With the neural redundancies of his L2 implants, his concussion is nearly undetectable. Oh, good. Now. 
I still want to keep him under observation, but he should be fit for duty soon. Perfect. All right. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. That woman just like popped back in. She was like, I left and now I'm back. Got more important things to do. Oh yeah. Yo, lady. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. See, but Shepard says, she's like, these aren't as good as what we got, but we can still look at them. And then we give them to the Asari, like number one biotics in the universe. <laughs> and the Asari don't have something better than a subpar alliance. Tell me, Shirakathita, that our huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. No, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs. Yay, humans! Alright, Caden, my boy. Are you up and about? Oh, he is! You made him go. Hmm. Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. I'm getting out soon. Oh, good! Good to hear. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted Udina's offer. Ah! Spectre Caden Alenko. That's a big deal. Only the second human specter. <laughs> it's humbling. Why Udina didn't I get to see that? I wanted to see that. Ceremony, even with the war. And he says a celebration will give folks something hopeful to latch on to. You ready to take on that responsibility? You set the bar pretty high, but I'll do my best. Tee -tee. It's strange. On Mars, I should have died. The promotion from Anderson, Spectre status. These are terrible days. But I've been lucky. That's good. I mean, it's good to recognize that, that in the face of all of this, that, like, you know, there are certain things that people are lucky with. You're perfect for the job. On Eden Prime, I could see there was something special about you. You're a good soldier. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Yeah. I have thought about I could that. use ya. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec op squads. My students from Biotics Division. Any luck? No. Probably went underground, but they'll turn up. If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. It's true. Well, let me know when you're out. Take care, Spectre Lenko. Stay safe, Commander. All right. You're free now? Hmm. There's not really any point in going anywhere in here, I'm pretty sure. It's just, uh, same things. We don't, unless we have, like, the, uh, Whatever it was that the guy wanted, the Solarium wanted, then we... No point. But, we can go... Listen to more of this lovely conversation over here! So I'm in the shower with hot water and everything. And that's when Neyra came. Neyra. Neyra was another huntress on your ship? Yeah. A friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a... A medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... And Neyra walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. Yep. Okay, interesting thing is they're, they're insinuating that Neyra is an art at Yakshi. It's the only medical condition that an Asari would have that would make it impossible for a relationship to go past friendship. Um, and in that case, that is very odd. Because I thought most Arda Yakshi were kept in a compound. Due to their somewhat volatile natures. 
um, inability to sympathize in general with other species or other individuals. Um, I did not realize that they had Arayakshi on the front lines. So. And another interesting thing is that apparently the, what are they called? Oh shoot, the Asari, the Asari husks basically, they're, they're from, they're made from Arda Yakshi. But then what happens to an, uh, to a regular Asari, you know? I just assumed that all of those, um, Asari husks were any Asari, not just Arda Yakshis. So, I'm a little unsure of that. Like if there's a Welcome specific the there. Please select a destination. Uh, let's go to the the D twenty four. That's where Miranda's gonna be. Oh yeah, this food is definitely not conducive to playing and eating at the same time. Miranda? Ah! You were like, oh, you're like... Please. This is how it has to be. Everyone's going through this. I know, and I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just so damn inconvenient. It's like... We're pre-space flight all of a sudden. Pretty much. You should see what they've got us using for heavy munitions. It's all mass-produced Elkos combine crap. Wait, munitions? Explosive munitions? I thought you weren't going to be on the front lines. Not in hot combat zones, no, of course not. But sometimes, they need us to breach enemy fortifications. God, I see. You said you were just going to be building emergency outposts. Yep, he let that one slip. Yo, Miranda, you don't stand out. Amanda Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. Indeed. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you mm, No off. way. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. I'm too pretty. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. Thank you, Miranda. What about you? What brings you here? That means a lot to coming to from a Miranda. People, like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet, for now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <sighs> Not surprising. Yeah. Shepard? There's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I knew it. I'm getting Even wrong. when I first was playing this, I'm like, it's something to do with Oriana. It's the only yes. reason Miranda comes out of the woodwork. Yet, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but I just know my father is involved. Miranda's intelligent! What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. Drinking that bubblegum soda. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. I can do more than that! But for now... I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. Shepard does I have understand. To this out. Shepard understands that Miranda can't run around the galaxy on an intuition. She has to get more evidence to lead her to where she needs to go, and she can't just ask me to run around the galaxy without knowing anything. You will. Yeah, how's Cerberus? Have you had any run ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Yeah. Contain the situation. 
Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. Nope. No, he doesn't. Let's see. Yo, Dad! Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. I think she's lost the Cerberus logos on her clothes. It's been a long time. What happened to you? It's only been I've six been months. Hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. And I she stands know. out. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. Ah. Uh -huh. Freaking for reals though, like she could take over the she could take over Cerberus and make it something. I think if Miranda if there was a way to do that like we are with the Shadow Burger, that'd be pretty dang cool. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. Alright. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. No promises. That's how the, the, the gist of the conversations with Miranda tend to go. Be safe. Can you promise that? No. Can I promise it? No. Nobody can promise that. <laughs> um, what else do we do? Uh, well, we've got the Miranda, Miranda. Lawson is a high-ranking former Cerberus operative and a human biotic. Lawson headed Project Lazarus, the Cerberus operation that brought Commander Shepard back from the brink of death after the first. Guard Dr. whereabouts Karen are Trump. unknown. <laughs> um. Oh wait, I was gonna check. We could do that. He's in the Presidium Commons, in the Citadel Refugee Camp. And then there's the, uh... Um... Oh, go. Um, what was I just thinking of? Oh, we gotta talk to Bar Levon. As well. well. Let's go to the Presidium Commons, I guess. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Presidium Commons. Yeah. One moment. Oh, and maybe we'll do um, uh, Kasumi's thing as well. Apparently, you get this mission regardless of whether with it's with the the, the Solarian STG guy, but you get the mission regardless of having Kasumi's DLC or not. But it glitches because it requires Kasumi to finish. So you'll get the quest and you can't finish it. Now Yeah, yeah, everybody still doing okay? Everybody doing okay? Yo, Balavan. Commander Shepard. Yeah. It's been some time. I was here time. like a few days ago, poking you. Barlavan, in case you've forgotten. What? Where's my phone? It keeps vibrating. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. He used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The Broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. Uh, thanks. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. The galactic market is in considerable flux, yeah. He's sort of the uh, expert of the understatement, Barlavon. He also very much enjoys uh, 
being cryptic in a way. I feel like he definitely enjoys his role. He feels like he's probably a very high-ranking shadow broker associate. And uh, in many ways, he probably is, but... Uh, it's good all that you have here, dude. I don't know if any of it updates. Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full service warranties. I don't even know, man. I don't know what I want. Any more fishies? Welcome to Kanala Exports. Blood Dragon Armor. We appreciate your visit. I gotta get more money. Have you decided how to tell him? I don't know. A text message is so impressive. Yeah. He's off risking his life. He deserves more than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate when he left you here. Yeah, that, that whole thing kind of confuses me. I understand, like, you know, wanting company, whatever, but she was already having the affair beforehand and... Oh yeah, okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, and we're supposed to poke this. <laughs> we get the whole movie. Greetings, Moonen. This one understands that you are the second best law enforcement in the Citadel. Badass fully. Just avoid interfering with this one's projected maneuvering path. Trying to put an Elcor in a car, too. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's so funny. So funny. Quick, hands behind your back. They'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. <laughs> He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. <laughs> this better be on the up and up. Quiet. <clears throat> I have to look even more powerful than Creek thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. Yeah. <sighs> Commander Shepard. Want you to know, your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. How exciting! Keep your distance, Creed. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. How? Why is a... Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Um... Not him. Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's... The blood pack are supposed to be run by Krogan. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Don't touch me. No, I'll scratch you. Do not touch me. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Okay, mm. I feel very dirty. I got lots of stuff, though. <sighs> yeah, it's very strange that the blood pack is being run by a... Uh... Real prefab 
have shelters and cheap nutrient paste, baby. The profit margin must be higher than a Hanar's water bill. How can you think about profits at a time like this? What's your name, dear? <laughs> um, Sarah? Sarah, have you ever heard of Elkos Combine? Sure. Don't they make, um, everything? Group Elkos. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to bet you look worse than I do. Yeah, well, did you hear about the chemical fire and those kids from level E24 that they brought in last night? Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Shit. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Look, if you need anything... I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. I mean, it's not just, like, military threats, you know? It's, like, it's stuff like that. Too. Like, you just don't think about it, but, like, the overpopulation, even if we didn't, like, keep letting people in, like, the place is still crowded, you know? Hello, Shepard. So, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's just a big mess, always. Um, I guess we'll get, uh, the other part of it started, of the other piece. I think, I think it's this one, uh, this guy over here. Oh no, we gotta talk to. That's right, that's right. Oh no, we gotta talk to Bailey first. We gotta talk. We gotta talk to Bailey first. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Well, I think this Solarian guy is part of something, but he might be part of the other thing. I don't know. Yep. All right. Um. Valavon. Okay, so we did that. A oh, oh yeah, we're supposed to, be able to talk to that guy. But I think um, we actually do need to talk to Bailey first. It says we don't have to, but I think you do. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Oh, that's a lot. We already did that one, and you can't poke Joker, which is upsetting. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Looking up is one of the few things I can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. Hmm. Whew. That's a big punch in the gut right there. Like, oh man, Edie. <laughs> it's a good point, though. It's a good point. But I think I will actually call this one here. I think we'll start the next one, possibly by doing Kasumi's mission. We'll see. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I will see you in the next one.